Good afternoon, everybody. 8th of December and tile 399. What do I have with me? A bright white tile. And I've done a little bit of inking around the edges and I've used the uh, Locket Lane Fireflies just to give it a little bit of interest around the edges there. Other than that, that's all sorted. Inking-wise, um, I'm actually using, same as usual, honestly, my Cosmic Shimmer, shimmer but it's the chalk one, the Toasted Rose. Just gives it a nice sort of subtle finish, but uh, yeah, that works absolutely fine. Not a problem there. So, okay, what we uh, what are we up to today then? I'm going to need a straight edge today, so bring in a uh, tile to get started with. And I'm going to come in straight away with pen. So, okay. First of all, I want a little bit of a border around the edge. So, um, let's have a look. Now, you know, it's crazy when you think about it because the other side of this desk, I've got all my rulers <laughs> and here I am using a tile, but it's fine. It works the same down there. Okay. So you see, not too wide. Okay. There we go. Afternoon, everybody. It's lovely to have you with me. Sorry about the little confusion this morning with tile four compared to 12 on the advent. But hopefully I've arranged it and Chris has put a post out. It's just that tile four is actually tile 12. Um, and uh, it does explain it on there. There you go. That's our first one. So next one, I want another one inside here. So let's have a look. I'm going to have a, just doing this by eye really. And if you wanted to, you could put a line across to get it all exactly. Um, I'm not so worried about that. I'm going to come on in. Let's wait another. Turn it round. Could have used a little tiny tile on the middle of this, couldn't we? You can do that if you like. Have it on a different colour. Okay. And there we go. One there. And one there. All right. So, bit of a yeah, bit of a shape to work to today. So, next thing I want to sort of imagine the middle. So, again, I could come in look with my pencil. Put a little mark. Same again. Pencil. Yeah, put a little mark. We've got about the middle line, okay. Oh. <laughs> and then around, I want to put a bubble in here, not too small, but uh, don't don't go too big either. I know that doesn't really help you. I'm not giving you a measurement. You don't need a measurement. There you go, bubble. It's sort of right. There you go. Okay. Bubble done. So I'm just going to bring in my pencil and I want to give myself a little bit of a guide here. So imagine about halfway, you see, about halfway, same again. And now, you're not going to see that when it's done, so let's bring that in a little bit. Okay, there you are. Uh, oh, Vicky, Wendy, I get the same problem, only Benji's not a lap dog. <laughs> so I usually end up with, I can't move at all. I'm sure we all have that with our little poochies, don't we, and our cats. Okay, let's put a curl in here, a little bobble on the end. Now you notice my curl's gone up to the edge or the top. Watch that again, around the bubble. And I've used that line to help me gauge where that curl is. So it's sort of level across the top there. Same here, look. I'm going to come around. So I'm on this side of that line. And I've leveled it off. And the next one. Along here. Same again. Okay, so far so good. We've got that kind of a design going on. So, next little bit. I'm going to work from this side now. But this time, imagine I want to extend it a little bit. So I've got my little markers on those top edges. And along, and this time I'm going to go all the way up to the top and create a curl, a little bobble on the end. And the next one is going to go around and up to the top, create a curl. And again, around and up to the top, creating a curl. I'm not so worried if they're all a little bit different. They're going to all have a slightly different sort of 
tinge to them. There's a few more bits and pieces going in, so you won't really notice a lot. So we've got a couple little shapes in the middle here. So I'm going to create a little shape inside it and fill that in with a little bit of ink. And I'm going to do that on all sides. I'll turn it there. And along. And into this one. So at the moment, I know we're all slightly different here because we do curls differently. And some are going to be a bit bigger and wider than others, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to come in a little bit more now. And see on this, this one here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to create another curl. See, it's a little bit smaller. Or another one, so it's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to do a fourth one now. If you find that that's too much, that's fine. Just do three, it doesn't matter. It's uh, okay, so just filling that line in so we've got something going there. So if I turn it round now, and it's similar again. So I'm going to aim for four. If you've done three in the last one, then do three. But being that I did four, I'm going for four. And again, along here. And again, you see they get smaller each time. And another one. And again. Into there. And there. So I know they're all going to be different, but that's fine. And there. So let's have a little look at that. Okay, so far we've got that kind of a thing. All right. So what I'm going to look at now is this edge. And I'm going to start from here. And I want to come up and round and put a curl in there. Like that. And that one. Oh, Linda, exciting times. It's not very warm in Scunthorpe at the minute, but yeah. I know, Pam, that sounds good. We've got sort of the last few of the parcels to go out because I know from the show beginning of the week, we added extra stock to it. So we've been making that. Um, but if yours hasn't come yet or if you've not got an email, it's either come today because... I think Yodel's just been to collect. Uh, and if not, the rest of them will go out on Monday. So I'm sorry for the delay, but we've had to uh, finish off the the rest of them there. So they're working as hard as they can in there, I know. Okay, so put a little line in there. And then from here, a line there. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Same again, look from this curl. I'm coming down here. And from the end coming down here. So if I turn it round from this curl down and from this edge, the same thing. And again, and I'll enter this one there and then this one there. Okay. So this little shape here, I'm going to come in and add some curves. On this one, add some curves. And on this one, curves. And of course, this one, curves. Now, with this, I'm just going to switch over pens because I want to add some uh, extra ink there. So I'm going to bring my little brush in. Uh, you can use your regular pen, you can use your 05. You know, it's going to be a little bit quicker for you to do and it's not going to have any impact on your nib. As we know, those threes are quite fine. And in that, a little bit there. Right there. So, tile 400 on Tuesday. It's quite a landmark, isn't it? And uh, nice to sort of do it before Christmas as well. So, um, I've not... I'm, I'm thinking about it, you know, it, I'm going to get it drawn over the weekend. So, but, uh, not sure what it's going to be yet, or what kind of a theme, or 
anything like that. Don't know. You see, whilst we've done this, I want to fill in this little section here as well. And that little bit in the corner there. And again. So, very repetitive, but we're working separately on the, each little section as we go. Filling it. Of course, you could do this in a different colour. You don't have to do it in the black ink. It's entirely up to you. Or you can leave it if you want to. I think it needs a little bit of drama because at the moment all those lines are a little bit sort of samey. I know, Sue, I know. I was only going to do 12. And that's the standing joke that's always going to be there. But I know, I'm, I'm so glad that I didn't stop doing it. It's, uh, it's really nice to, to sort of be keeping going. And of course, the fact that you're all loving it as much as I do, that, that makes it means a lot. It really does. Okay, so I've got this line here. Now let's put that as a curl there. I don't know, Pam, I don't know how many. I mean, I suppose as long as we keep enjoying it and we, you know, we enjoy what we're doing. That's it. Who knows? Okay, so we've got a bit of a pattern coming in there now, haven't we? So let's look at this here. I'm going to come and do another one this way. So just a little bit bigger. Another one this way. And then another one. I think we've created such a community now. And a lovely group of us. And more are joining all the time. I say, see here, I'm going to come in and put that shape in there. We can actually put the stripes in as we're going because it's kind of small. Let's see. And this one. So here we go again. Look, one there, look, one there. Put those stripes in. I'm not worried about if they're the same amount of stripes. As long as I start with the same at the top, it's fine. This bit here, look, one there, one there, and along, here we go, and then this one, along, along, and into there, goes to those stripes again. So there, let's have a little look at where we're at at the minute. Okay, look at that. Okay, next little bit then. Oh, Marie, that's lovely, isn't it? And I think that's it. If we look forward to doing something, we don't see it as a chore, uh, or something you think, oh, I've got to keep up with it. I'd never want you to feel you've got to keep up with them. You know, just do as many as you can and enjoy it. And if you're somebody that's not done all of them, it doesn't matter. You just start where you are now. You don't have to go back to the beginning because every single one we do, it's, all, it's always separate. There's no... Um, similarity there's no sort of moving and you know you've got to do this one then you've got to do that one it's nothing like that just enjoy what you're doing so you see here look I'm actually adding a little shape inside now creating these unusual little uh, I don't know little sections in here we're filling those in you see I know we put or I did I put bubbles in the background it's absolutely fine that we're not seeing all of them. They just there is a little bit of interest. It just changes the uh, the image a little bit. I know, Louise, I like to do that. I mean, they're all in a folder. I'd love to put them all out and uh, you know, have them sort of displayed somewhere. But, but then, you know, they're not in a folder anymore. And they're nice as a point of reference, aren't they? So... Okay, look at that, from a few, we've done, all we've done as curls, yeah, nothing crazy. So, okay, let's have a look back now at these little lines. Remember, we, we sort of found the middle-ish. I'm going to put those lines back in around that top edge there. So I know sort of where the edge is. All right. And then I'm going to take a curl from here and I want it to fill the whole of that half a section. So if you need to, imagine it first and then draw it in. All right. 
but I've not gone beyond that sort of center line there. Let's do another. Okay, so around. And then a little bobble on the end. And again, around. Bobble on the end. Yeah, yeah, there's no rush on these. I know I, I tend to speed tangle a little bit because we don't want to be um, on here for like two hours. But that means you can fast forward, you can stop it, you can start it. You can uh, shut me up. Yeah. And put those stripes in there. And then to the next one. To this. And then stripes. In there. And then the next one. This one. Stripes in there. Now, of course, you'll know that we've got classes this weekend. So I'm really looking forward to everybody being here and doing our last classes before Christmas. It's uh, going to be a good one. Hopefully, I've got plenty of things in store for you at least. Okay, I'm going to bring my pen back in now because what I'd like to do is put those stripes back in. And I'm just contemplating whether I think I'm going to do the same here on that section. But I'm going to do these stripes first and then make my mind up because there's no, there's no necessarily a, a set plan. It's just about having a little bit of fun, seeing where it leads. Now you see there, I've just gone over a little bit with my pen, but that's okay. If I bring my fine liner back in, you see, I can... Neat me up a little bit, so you know, never be afraid of a brush. They're really quick to fill things in, and I think you get a finer line or a smoother line than if you're using um, a fine liner. That tends to work its way around. And then to those. And the next one. See how quickly it goes down with that little brush there. Alright. So there's that one. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little line there between the two on this one, because it's quite a big space. And I think I'll probably fill this bit in. Or I might come and do it with lines. I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm going to do a little bit more first and then I'll come back to it. All right, so far so good. There we go. So next little bit then. I want to work from this end now. And again, just to sort of help us with spaces, I'm going to split that section in half. Do that all the way around with my pencil because you're not going to see that line after. You see, just to help out. So I've got two sections there now. The first section, I want to come in and I'm going to create a curl all the way around, a little bobble on the end. Okay, same on this one, a little curl, all the way around, bobble on the end. And the next one, all the way around, bobble on the end. And if I keep going for this last one, bobble on the end. All right, that's where we are. Okay, next one. I'm going to add a little, just a little one there. And a little one there. So I've not really put a guide in for that one because it's kind of small, so it's fine. A little one there. So there we are. And then looking at all these shapes, I'm going to create a little shape inside this one, like this. And then this one, round that little curve we've just done. And of course, if you feel that you want to, you can use a straight edge for that line. And then I've got one here. There we go. And then here. 
Oh no, Maureen, I think after this one, you'll be certainly used to drawing curves or curls. They've really got a good place and they really make a difference to a piece. I mean, today we've used just curls, but sometimes using them to enhance something you've already done really does make a difference. And along here. So I'm systematically working my way around, creating these little shapes, making my time. You see, there's one there, look. Around we go. Into the next one. One there. See, I've not done one in there. It's going to be quite small. Or just around these edges. And then this one. Okay. Nice, isn't it? All those little curls when you think about it. All right then, so I'm gonna bring my brush back in for a minute and I'm gonna fill in that little section there where we, uh, well, I decided I was gonna leave it. And I'm also gonna do this little one here. So let's do that again. I've got this one here. Like that. And then this little one here. And around again, this one here. Taking my time there, and this one here. Look at the difference that's made. Just filling that in with a little bit of ink and having some drama there. It gives it a little bit of texture. Okay. So I'm just going to come back to this one. See, I've got a little, a little bit over there on the edge. So. going to thicken that, uh, that way. you see if I'll line it up again you see it's just come over the edge put that line in okay there you go fill those little bits in there there it is job done so let's go in a little bit more and look at these sections here this one in particular and what I want to do here is I'm going to come in with like um, a little bit of a squiggly line all the way around. Oh, thank you, John. It's a cup of tea time. And it's sort of, I'm going to just keep it going. Like that. Okay. Let's that and then to the next one. So again, I'm looking at this shape here. It doesn't matter where you start. The idea is... Try and keep the squiggle going, if you can, without it uh, crossing over. You see? It's kind of a random wavy line. And this one. Do you know, I think we should do this weekend. I think you should go back to the first tile you ever did and redo it. Whether it be tile one or whether it be tile 61 or 78 or 100 or 360 you know go back and try it again and have a quick review and look at how far you've come just trying something a little bit different each time okay look at that you see that so can we do the same in these little shapes here of course if you're in class you're not going to have time because i'm going to really work you hard this week but uh, yeah, if you if you're at home and you know you've got some time, why not do that? Go back to that first ever one and see how you do it. And I bet you actually draw it quicker as well. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna remove my uh, little centre sort of cross because I, I don't want that in the middle anymore. I'm not gonna really press on too much with my rubber where I've got a lot of black. I want to make sure it is dry, but most of it, there's nothing there to sort of see anyway. Okay. So I think first things first then, let's get a bit of pencil. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, no. Um, I mean, there was one, it never ceases to make me laugh. Is when we were, uh, I can't remember even who it was now, but it makes me laugh. 
about the uh, Hermes and somebody who replaced the M with a P, spelling error. Yeah, that was quite funny. We did laugh about that a lot. <laughs> so I'm adding pencil on the inside and the outside there, edges of my, sort of my frame. No, I'm not being too shy with it. I am going over the black. Oh, so it was hilarious, wasn't it? Who was it that said it? I mean, it was it was said in all, you know in the nicest sense because there was a problem with the delivery, but we did laugh. <laughs> we did laugh. I'm just going to remove that bit. I don't want it to go in there. See, so it's just on this these two sides here. So in the middle, actually, before I get to there, you see here, I'm going to add some pencil down there. I might as well do the same down that one as well. And that one. See, I can get away with both sides there. And there. See, where I've got black this side. I'm just going to do that one. But where I've got the stripes on their own, I can do both sides. But if there was lots of cake talk, <laughs> we did get onto food quite a lot, didn't we? We did. And we, you know, we had some laughs, we had some tears, and we got through it, didn't we? We got through it. Here we are. So there's my little bits there. So these sections, I'm going to add some pencil all around on each side there. Don't worry about being too neat. I told you and I'll sort that out. <laughs> and of course... I think it, uh, a lot of the videos, they changed, didn't they? Because as we moved premises or the first ones, you could hear lasers in the background because they were right next to me. Things like that. And sometimes it was really cold. And we were in the sunshine, it was really warm. And we always talk about the weather. Okay. Oh, and this one. each of those little pieces there. Okay. All right, okay. Talk to you on then. Let's have a look at this. And I'm gonna start with these bits and work my way outwards. So nice and gentle, around we go. Putting these little softeners in there as we go. So you're going to get a little bit of a, a space, hopefully anyway, where you've got no graphite. That will be going. Oh, so can you remember the toilet rolls and everybody was buying more than they needed? And there was nothing on the shelves. I know, I bet some people have still got toilet roll that they stocked up from those days. And queuing outside shops and wearing masks... I know. It was quite a time, wasn't it? Right. There. Oh, hello, Carol. I've not seen your name in ages. Hope you're well. We're just reminiscing about lockdown and the, the toilet roll saga. So far, so good. Oh, Pam, it does seem like a long time ago now, doesn't it? But, you know, it wasn't that long. It was a, an unprecedented time. So I'm going to do those while I'm at it, you see. Hopefully, we'll never have to do anything like that again. <laughs> okay. So... Softly around there. I've not done around the border yet, around the edge. I'm just doing these for now. Softening those off. I'm going to come back in with uh, a white pen in a short while. Certainly for those stripes, but for these around the edge, let's sort of go around with swirls. And uh, give it a little bit of softness there. The same with this one. So I'm going down and then back up on the other side. Wandering around. And then the 
this side. Same sort of thing. Carol, we did lose a lot of time, didn't we? But you know, I think a lot of us made the most of it. And uh, you know, to say that we lived through that is quite an achievement, isn't it? So many didn't, which is really sad. Do you know what? I might have to go back through my books and actually read the About This book again because. Uh... <laughs> See, that makes that's funny. <laughs> I don't, I don't think the dogs have never walked so much in their lives, have they? <laughs> oh, dear. And the amount of people that brought dogs just so they could go out. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this. So far, so good. I'm going to come back in with Pear. Oh, it's made me laugh. And what I want to do is I want to go back round this line here and reinforce that set. Blackness. Oh dear, I'm going to be laughing about that now all day. Wait till I see John. <laughs> oh, okay, that one as well. Notice I'm only doing one at a time now. I want to make sure that it's on the right line. Um, I don't want to make any little uh, errors there. So again, I'm going to do that around the edge as well. I don't mind making it a little bit thicker. Strengthen it up a little bit. And to that one as well. And I'm just going to think about a um, bit of colour as well. You know, that centrepiece is crying out, doesn't it, for a little hint of colour. So I think it's going to have to be like oranges. See there, look, I know it's, I'm going to, another line, and you see I've actually got like a double line. So if I put that on and draw in between the two, it should go, fill it in. There you are. That's it. That works fine. Okay, so let's get some orange pencils out. Let's look what we've got here. Okay, so first of all, Clementine, let's bring that in. And add a little bit around the uh, edge there. See, leaving a little bit of a gap. Not gonna worry too much about uh, loads of layers. Mid-orange, because it's quite small, so it's gonna do its thing regardless. And a little bit of white in there. Okay, so let's help that orange and mid-orange to sort of wander in together. A bit more of that. Okay, I'm going to bring in with that, let's have a look, a little bit of bright red around the edge. And maybe just a touch of, uh, what have I got here? A touch of night sky. And then sort of back down the colours just over the top of that just to give it a little bit of a working. And I think it's a little bit of white pen. I can see it, it's looking at me on the other side of the desk. Just have a little look at that. That's nice having that in there. Just one second. Yeah. All right, white pen. And all I want to do is go and have a look on all of those little stripes and put myself a line, just one single line down the middle. Like that. Oh, I love them. So don't sort of think, oh, I'm going to do a sketchiness. You want a, a nice, confident single stroke on all of them. Just one line, all the way down. And then that one. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's wandered off. Have a look at that. I'm going to put a little bit of a white hint on there as well. Let's have a go closer, see what I've done there. See? A little blob and a couple of little dots. 
And just to help it out a little bit more, uh, what I'm going to do is put a line straight down the middle of here as well. So that's probably going to be better with a bit of a, an edge. So I know I've got those underneath, but I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to have a line going across there. See? And now again, it's all about it being one line. So no stopping and starting. Now if your pen slightly doesn't work, because you know what gel pens are like. Now slow down a little bit, but don't go back over it. Just let it do its thing. And into that one. Okay. See how it just gives it that tiny little highlight. So I think I'm going to bring just a little bit of black in. And you see just around that edge. I don't need to particularly uh, blend in because uh, I've already got the grayscale there. They've got the graphite. Backing it through. And the same on this side. So I'm not pressing on particularly, but I am um, putting a little bit on there. It's just on that very, very far edge. So we've got a little bit of darkness in there. That's looking okay so that's way better isn't it you see that bit of darkness and it's just giving it that slight bevel and a little bit actually I'm going to use pencil on the inside there and do another layer on the inside you see so again not being too shy with that a little bit of tortillon work going in space and this one and an along and the last one and let's have a look at that and see what's happened with that and there we go look at that okay all done so last thing to do I suppose is signature you see, we've still got some of those little bubbles hanging about. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Having just a little bit of interest. But there you go, 399. All done and finished. So all that's left for me to say then, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Enjoy this. But you know, um, I've set you a little challenge. If you want to go back to the first one you did, redo it and see how much different it looks. And uh, that'll be good. Post them and let's see how you get on. But for uh, some of us that are coming to class, uh, looking forward to it. Got lots of things for you to do, um, a few challenges. But we always love that, don't we? If it was too easy, it'd be boring. So uh, pencils at the ready, all nice and sharpened. And I will see you then. So for everybody else, don't forget, we're still doing our advent tiles. I will try and get the right number tile tomorrow <laughs> in the right place. Um, so yeah, we'll be carrying on with that. I'm not sure when I'll do it, but as soon as I get some time to do I will. And so, okay, see you all tomorrow in one sense. But a few of you, I will actually see you tomorrow. So enjoy, have fun and take care. All right. Bye.